everybody, it's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts! We got a few new people to welcome to the channel, and we got some thoughts and prayers that we need, guys. So, let's get started. And if I say your names wrong, please forgive me, just correct me, and I'll try and fix them next week, and I'm still a mess. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Jean Vastin. Jean Vastin, welcome to the neighborhood. Sackodale, welcome to the neighborhood. Claire Louise Irvine, welcome to the neighborhood. Leisha B, welcome to the neighborhood. Ada Brandy World, welcome to the neighborhood. Clay Blessed, welcome to the neighborhood, and Elaine Dubois, welcome to the neighborhood. And I could have said those wrong or I could have written them wrong. It's been kind of crazy around here. And my handwriting's not all that great since I hurt my hand and I'm supposed to be wearing my boxer's brace and I'm not, so sorry about that. Lindsay Wagner, welcome back, girl. We sure as heck missed you. We're glad to have you back. Hope all is well with you. And I want everybody to make sure they go over to Maple Poon's channel to watch for his giveaway of the bookmarkers that I colored for their, his channel. Make sure you guys go over and subscribe to Maple Poon. We'll put the link below and go subscribe and get in on that giveaway. Okay, thoughts and prayers. We have a lot. We have a lot going on with a lot of people right now, so we really need a lot of thoughts and prayers. As you all know, I always ask for thoughts and prayers for the lone wolf, my dad, for an easy transition over. Um, thoughts and prayers for my mother right now, who's having a hard time with everything, um, and for the entire family. We all are having a hard time, but... Um, if you could all just keep us in your thoughts and prayers, we would greatly appreciate that. Michelle Jones, her mother just had ankle surgery, so thoughts and prayers go out to her for a quick recovery. Tanya Hemmer, she has pain and burning in her chest. She went to the ER and we're waiting for some test results back from her. So keep her in your thoughts and prayers and for positive results that everything's okay. Kitty's at the... Thoughts and prayers for her brother who was just diagnosed with NMO and Lyme's disease. He is 35 years old and he's already blind in one eye from the, the N NMO. He is a father of very two young boys and they right now have everything under control, but they're hoping everything stays under control so he can see his two young boys grow up. So if you can all please keep Kitty, Kitty's at the, her brother in your thoughts and prayers and their entire family. We would greatly appreciate that. Thoughts and prayers for an angry teenager that I was unable to help. And I'm not going to say names or anything, but um, not a family member, but a uh, fellow community member. Uh, Liza's family vlogs, still having major pains with her fibromyalgia and her bladder. So, and she's going to the doctors, um, and they're still working with her with her bladder issues. So thoughts and prayers go out to you, Liza. I uh, hope everything gets straightened out with you and that you can start to feel better soon. And many of you already know mom's vlog 80 elijah is back in the hospital and is ill again so thoughts and prayers go out to elijah at mom's vlog 80. and we all know my very good friends one proud mama and i'm going to read you a message that she sent to me I hope things are going well for the lone wolf. Haley's been having seizures again. That's her daughter. So I'm behind on the vlogs. She's out of the hospital as of tonight. This was yesterday. And from school till at least Thursday. So I can catch up on them now. So if you could ask for prayers for Haley in this week's shout outs, I would appreciate it. Also, she asks again about 
pr uh, thoughts and prayers for the place, a place to live. Uh, the pla last place they were looking at got rented to someone else behind their backs. Were, they were so distraught about everything and worried. They might be homeless. They only have until the end of this month, according to their landlord. And they can't find anything right now. And the water damage was not caused by them. It was caused by an electric furnace. And whoever hooked it up did not hook it up properly. And the pump caused co condensation, which caused a the drainage to leak under the floor and now mold to grow and it's unsafe for them to live there. That's why they have to move and they are having a real hard time finding a place to live. And with Haley being so sick and with one proud mama, April being in remission right now with her cancer, um, it's, it's a really difficult time for them. So if everybody could please keep one proud mama, April and their daughter Haley and their entire family in your thoughts and prayers. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. So that's all I have. So we're going to send it on over to Kevin for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Take it away, Kevin. Okay, so last week's question had to do with the movie Spring from 2014. And the question was, what was unique about the movie and uh, that they made them discard all their shots that they had planned? And the answer is a drone. The, uh, the director of photography uh, brought along a drone and the, and the director just loved it so much that they just reshot. They decided to do like 50% of the shots with uh, drones. So that was uh, the interesting thing about that, and the people who got that correct was Terry Johnson, The Abyss 92882, and Tanya Longley. Now today's question has to do with the 2004 American remake of The Grudge with Sarah Michelle Gellar. And actually they, uh, it uh, would apply to the original because I would say 90% of the cast in the American version is the same cast as the original Japanese Wan uh, version. Now the question has to do with special effects because this movie was almost done completely practically. If there was any um, uh, CGI in it at all, it was very sparingly. But how did they make that clicky poppy sound that you, that you hear when uh, the uh, ghost is moving down the stairs and such? There's your question. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it were not for all of you out there watching us. We love you all so very, very much, and we thank you all from the bottom of our hearts. Please go by and check out all our other stuff, and we will see you, Kevin and I, together next week in next week's shoutouts. Bye!